As you can see in the opening exhibit for this module, for every inhibitor that can derail or bog down your transformation, there is a corresponding accelerator that you can deploy to keep your transformation on track and on time. Take a moment to read through the list of the embedded inhibitors of rapid transformation on the left and their corresponding accelerators on the right. The pairings shown have held up in Dr. Miles surveys, regardless of variations in leaders, settings, and transformation challenges. And these variations have covered the waterfront. Bob's typical clients have ranged from the turnaround of National Semiconductor, the old Animals of Silicon Valley, who became Silicon Valley's comeback company of the year, to the launch of the growth phase at the newly formed IBM Global Services and the total systems realignment of a series of big box retailers and regional electrical utilities to the succession process of an outside minister from the West Coast to one of the largest churches in the South and the merger and integration of major community and university healthcare systems, as well as taking charge process at the PGA Tour when an inside attorney succeeded the commissioner who was a golfing legend. Across all this diversity, confronting new and sitting transformation leaders, the pivotal roles played by the inhibitors and accelerators became firmer and clearer. They gradually became the essential elements of a methodology Dr. Miles refers to as accelerated corporate transformation or simply ACT, which we will take up in depth during the second part of this course. But for now, let's focus on each of the accelerators and how they enable a leader to overcome the inhibitors and achieve organizational transformation in record time. And do keep in mind from our previous course module, for best results, the inhibitors need to be addressed in a particular order, the order in which they appear in this module. We'll begin with the accelerator that best equips a transformation leader to engage and overcome the first inhibitor, cautious management culture. When organizations pursue variations on the same success model for an extended period of time, they become preoccupied with incremental improvement. Rather than teeing up big ideas and targeting big results, executive decision makers try to avoid big mistakes. They hunker down in their respective areas of responsibility, believing they are too busy with daily operations to get involved in reimagining the entire business. In the picture in the exhibit, people are so focused on their routine daily work that they aren't aware of the water rising around them. Aggravating this problem is that a transforming enterprise requires intensive cooperation among executive peers. Strong traditional units have to share resources with unproven or underperforming units, and often they must sacrifice something they value for the good of the whole. An incremental parochial mindset affirms the traditional executive pecking order. Those who control the most resources or institutional assets tend to monopolize discussions, trump new ideas, in strong-arm decision-making, thereby reinforcing the status quo. The management culture in the U.S. automotive industry was so cautious a few decades back that some of the big car majors decided to create geographically separated greenfield subsidiaries to free up executive attention and design and development resources needed to respond to the smaller car challenges of foreign competitors. In a conservative culture, no one is certain that the leader in charge will stay the course on a transformational agenda. Typically, a history of half-baked, half-hearted, and half-lived change programs undermines confidence that the current challenge will be treated any differently. Without a clear vision and definite commitment from above, even the most capable and energetic members of the leadership team will hesitate to raise new ideas for moving forward, and the less proven executives will feel even more reluctance to speak their minds about what is wrong and how to improve things. Successful transformations call for a rigorous confrontation of reality both external and internal. But all that work will be wasted if the leader hasn't paused to establish that all executives must help chart the new course. Every member of your management team must understand the requirements to take an active role, no exceptions. If you permit wallflowers during the planning phase, they are likely to cast long passive shadows over their part of the organization when it comes time for execution. The next accelerator enables a transformation leader to engage and overcome the business-as-usual management process inhibitor. In most cases, the day-to-day -day management process is already operating at full capacity when the firm's leaders sound the call for big change. There isn't room within the established system to plan and launch a transformation. In fact, it often gets in the way. Forcing your transformation launch process into the organization's pre-existing calendar of meetings will give short shrift 
to this important work and not allow adequate time for the structured dialogue that's so essential to breaking new ground. The solution is to create a turbocharged, no slack launch transformation process that runs on a separate track and promotes both high speed and high engagement. Running a no slack launch alongside the routine management process for a few months will enable you to accelerate the transformation, gaining not only precious time, but also energy, commitment, and momentum. A peek at what this turbocharged overlay to the day-to-day -day management process is shown in the illustration. This transformation process architecture will be developed in detail later, but for now, it is important to make note of the greatly shortened time frame along the bottom of the illustration, only three to four months, and the overall compression into very few essential steps. Note also the inclusion at the starting gate of quick starts, the immediate launch of obviously needed early projects or no-brainers to help get the transformation rolling while you and your team craft the overall game plan. Regarding act-based projects, it is often said that preparation is important, but not at the expense of motion. Oftentimes, if you hear people complain that they didn't quite have enough time to work on a part of the transformation process, you have it just about right. In the course, a transformation speed to early breakthrough results is largely a function of simplicity of concepts and compression of processes, major themes to be repeatedly emphasized throughout the course. The next barrier.